What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? You know, it's your boy DODT, um, the Mayak on the track. And, uh, you know, uh, pretty much, man, you know, I just uh, left my folks' house. You know, we was uh, cooking out. You know, my stepdad was up there on the grill, you know, made some ribs and all kinds of good shit. But, uh, you know, naturally, as I'm, I'm there, you know what I'm saying, I, when I smell that wood burning, you know, and I'm there just chilling, you know, just enjoying my day in the backyard over there at my mom's, you know, I, uh, I tend to have a few beers, you know. I tend to uh, put on some old old school jams, you know, my favorite jams, and uh, you know, I get to thinking, I get to talking to myself, you know, or you know, you know, inside my mind, whatever, and I get to uh, just thinking a lot of things, you know, what I'm saying and. I was thinking about something that I just felt had to be addressed because for a lot of folks like myself and other fellow musicians probably really not so much rappers unless they just always dropping shit constantly but it's really more aimed towards uh, beat makers because you know rapping you know yeah you know and you and you always gonna have them folks that say oh well a nigga rapping and, and making beats, you know, it ain't it ain't that much different, you know, it all takes time and effort and patience or whatever, whatever, and sacrifice and shit. But you know, yeah, I understand, you know, whatever, that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But this ain't writing shit down on a paper. And really don't nobody just take hours to do a song unless you just a perfectionist, whatever, but when you're creating music, you know a beat from scratch, you know, that takes a hell of a lot more time and work than it does jotting down some words to, you know, write to a song. So, you know, with all that being said, basically what I'm getting at is I'd like to talk about how hard it is for us, you know, especially, you know, the people that Cause you know that this is where where the line gets drawn. Cause you know you got folks that social media man that made everybody think they can be whatever they want to be. Which you know ain't nothing wrong with with feeling like you know you can be this, you can be that. But you can't lie. A lot of a lot of people on this social media shit man is on some other shit. <laughs> You know, people cry for attention on there. They be, they pretend to be somebody that they ain't. You know, females have done became overnight models, and I don't even mean like modeling with class. I mean they they modeling doing some raunchy ass shit, showing ass and all that. But that's a whole nother subject. But y'all see where I'm getting at. You got dudes that drop one song or, or they want to fit in the, you know, be in the mix and, and try to rap and make beats, you know. And you can tell, you can, you can more or less weed all the folks that really ain't for real about the shit, you know, right out of the out of the bunch. Because, you know, you got some folks that really do fuck around with this shit, you know. Well, basically, man, back to what I was saying, the whole moral of this is, uh, for a lot of us beat makers, you know, it's it's hard because this shit is time consuming, you know. And this is this everything I'm gonna say is directed towards the ladies, the ladies that are in a relationship with a dude that makes, you know, that makes beats. Okay, this shit is not easy. You know, a lot of times this takes time. It takes time being away from y'all at the you know moment of, of production. Even if 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 
y'all are in the same household it's like a lot of us can't get that me time and I can understand you know this shit you know we can get carried away and be on this shit for hours but as I've gotten older and with experience I've come to realize that yeah taking a time out is possible and I've always preached that in, in a lot of my statuses on Facebook you know because I live in a lot of regret man you know I pissed away two good women and I've said that on multiple occasions you know it's true I was carried away a lot of y'all women don't understand that this is like a drug to us you know this is a passion this is something that is in us and we've been doing this so when we can't give y'all that time that y'all want it ain't all about just saying oh well fuck this nigga I'm gonna go find me a nigga that's gonna pay attention to me I'm gonna go fuck this nigga to make me feel better about the whole situation it shouldn't have to boil down to that it shouldn't have to come down to that at all you know cause if y'all was understanding and I you know five times out of ten you know half of them is understanding it's just people like myself took advantage of that and it's not that I was doing it to be an asshole but I was doing what I had to do you know what I'm saying so I although I was at home I wasn't out in the street you know I was at home in the same household under the same roof my lady was in the other room I was in one room with the door shut and I was lost in my own little world somebody who was just on the other side of the wall seemed like it was a thousand miles away you know so I can understand that but you got some that are just possessive and controlling and they don't want us to do this it's like nah 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 it's all about me 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 you know it's like damn when you want a good dude you gonna have to put up with a few things just like we gotta put up with a few things with jealousy uh... somebody being trying to be controlling over possessive cause you know a lot of good women man they gonna give you a hard ass time cause if a girl didn't give a fuck about you then she lets you do whatever you want and as we know something's wrong but Hey man, same thing with us. You want a good dude that's got his head on right, goal oriented, and trying to chase a dream. Hey man, for God's sake, man, we in the same house. We ain't out in the street. Nine times out of ten, we at the crib. We drinking on some, maybe smoking on, you know, blowing a little something, and we chilling. We cool. We laid back, and we just doing our passion, man. You know. You can't take that away from us. It ain't fair, man. You know, especially if you're a, a, a woman who has kids from a previous relationship. You cannot get with somebody and then expect the world in return. Because just like y'all are coming with extra baggage, hey, this music shit, this keyboard shit, you know, this, this whole music, music making, beat making. That's our baggage. So we gonna come with that. And it's easy, man. You know, it's all about communication and balance, man. So try to understand your dude, man. When when you see him making music and you see him trying to balance it all out, trying to make time for you and, and don't take that away from us. It's hard on us as it is trying to get up out here trying to make something better ourselves and, and to be something in this world a lot of us ain't ain't gifted to have awesome paying jobs so we get shit jobs and we make this music as a as a as a hope you know as a something to fall back on because a nigga like me don't never stop believing and I, I don't believe in somebody telling me no so that's basically all I wanted to say, man. You know, this this music shit is everything to us. There's good dudes out here, man, that's, that's really breaking their back, trying to please a girl, make her happy, 
and make our music at the same time, but sometimes y'all don't let us. You know, we go through heartbreak, we get cheated on, we get fucked around on, and for what? For one to be thug ass nigga out here in the street that ain't really about that shit, that's what y'all attracted to. Niggas that treat y'all like shit. When this could possibly take off, if we get lucky, I'm not saying that we that all of us will, but eventually somebody is, and we'll give you the world in return. So, you know, just try to y'all just need to try to understand that, man, because I know plenty of good people, man, that that they get treated like shit by their lady behind his music shit. And these guys have done nothing but been good to them girls. But I guess it is it's all about that person and, and their relationship and what goes on behind closed doors and what one would put up with them and what one would allow. So that's basically all I wanted to say, you know. Uh, to anybody that wasn't feeling what I'm saying, uh, you see the shirt with the Nelson saying. Fuck it then. <laughs> but yeah. It's your boy the money act on the track, man. Just trying to speak some shit that that be on a lot of us. A lot of our you know, a lot of us beat makers mind out here. And that's usually the main thing. So peace out, y'all. The money yak on the track. Got some more hot shit coming soon. Alright, y'all.